everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Summer is officially here at Disneyland Resort, and it comes with over 140 new food items from around Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. We have picked out a selection of some of the most interesting new food items to try out today, from a gigantic taco salad to a sparkling pickle lemonade. What was good? What was bad? Why well, come with us on this adventure? excited to try is the humongous taco salad. This has a taco shell, romaine, chipotle ranch, chicken, corn, bell pepper, cotilla cheese, and avocado. And it is so photogenic. It is huge. But I love that it's like a taco that's been enlarged. Yes, I love it. Give us more of that. I feel like they were starting to stray away from that, but they brought it back for this humongous taco salad. <laughs> I love it. I don't know how to eat this. Like, do I eat it like a taco or do I, do I eat it like a salad? Ooh. Avocado, yes. Look at that. The chicken is marinated perfectly. I am a sucker for a taco salad, especially that has Chipotle ranch on it. I'm a ranch girl and it gives it just a little bit of a kick. All the ingredients in there taste super fresh, freshly chopped up avocado. It's not like that fake, like, squeezable guacamole that they put on a lot of stuff here at the parks. So good, nice and refreshing. I guess the only, I gotta try the taco shell now. Oh my God. Five out of five. Amazing. This is good. This is probably like my favorite thing that I've ever had here. Unlike Ketra, I'm not gonna eat it in a civilized manner. Oh I'm my eat God, it as a don't destroy my humongous taco. Mm. Oh no. Okay, maybe that wasn't a good idea because it all came crashing down and now it's like... You ruined my beautiful... I didn't even get to take... Okay, actually, you know what? I did get to take a photo with it, so I'm okay. Now it's like a taco pizza. Yeah. So now you can like pick it up and like... It's like a tostada. I would say I'm a connoisseur of taco salads. And this is the best taco salad I've ever had in a theme park. Yes. Five out of five, Peters. Ordinary adventure stuff. Yes. And next up, we're gonna try the reactor melt. This is a garlic pesto toasted sourdough with mozzarella, basil, tomato, and served with potato bites. We should mention that they also sell a bite-sized grilled cheese. It's a grilled cheese sandwich that's been shrunk down for the kids. We're not eating that today because we're trying to eat a lot of stuff. But when we were at the cashier, she was like, do you want to add bacon to this? And we are like, sure. And then... <laughs> it just gave us like a bowl of bacon. I thought the bacon was going to be inside the sandwich. Same. I don't think I've ever had a grilled cheese that's been treated with gamma radiation before, so this <laughs> one should be interesting. Do you think this is what Tony Stark's heart is made out of? No. No? I gotta admit, when it comes to grilled cheese sandwiches in Disneyland Resort, this has a big bar to jump over. It's very good, but is it as good as the grilled cheese at Jolly Holiday? No. That basil does make it a little bit different than the one over there. And this is something I definitely would get over here, but if you had the choice of this and the one at Jolly Holiday, it would be that one. I'd still give this like a four out of five feet. This is solid. Even if that bacon. I was gonna say, what if you added bacon to it? I know. <laughs> when Avengers Campus first opened, they had this thing called the Choco Smash Bar, and it was phenomenal. It was this super-sized like, candy bar, and recently they got rid of it and they replaced it with a cake. So this isn't something that's new for like all the summer food. It's been here for a few months, but we've just never tried it. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna try it today. What this is is a brownie with white chocolate, peanut butter ganache, crunchy pearls, white cake, dark chocolate, truffle mousse, white chocolate, caramel Bavarian cream coated in a chocolate ganache and topped with roasted peanuts. That is a lot. They give us these tiny little forks, which I love. So I'm gonna use my tiny little fork. This is very good but I hate to compare. It's just not as good as the chocolate bar. It tastes very similar. I just feel like for the value, like the chocolate bar feels like around the same price and it was like this huge thing. But this is good. If you're a fan of like peanut butter and, you know, peanut butter and fudge, 
this might be for you. I'm gonna go ahead and give it like a three and a half out of five. It's not bad, it's just not something that I'd probably get again. One drink that they had here last year, it was called the Experiment 7290. It was a cookies and cream cold brew. They have brought that back. So if you're looking for a good cold brew, go get that. But the next item I'm gonna try is called the Pepper Particle Pasta. And that is Campanelli pasta topped with grilled chicken, spicy tomato cream sauce, chimichurri, and Parmesan. Is this for Pepper Pots? I think so, it's Pepper's pasta. Yeah. It's what she makes when she gets back home after like fighting bad guys, right? <laughs> I will say, in the, in the theme of things, this doesn't look very like themed or anything special. Yeah, it's like they had no bowls to put it in. Yeah, it's Pim Test Kitchen. You should have big pieces of pasta. That is interesting. I don't think I've ever had chimichurri on a pasta before. It has a little bit of spice, but I put like the spice meter at like a two out of 10. This is good. I'm not sure I'd ever get it again. I think it only got three and a half out of five. Yeah. I think it needs more theme. Steve, the arc reactor. On it. Right next door at Pim's Tasting Lab, they have a brand new drink, and this is a hard seltzer blue raz lemonade. This has flavors of raspberry, blue butterfly, PT flower, and lemon, and it has some cute little candies on there. This wasn't named after any specific Avenger, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess that this is for probably Black Panther, right? Yeah. Or, I don't know, who else is purple? Let me know in the comments down below. It looks so pretty. I love myself a good seltzer, so I'm excited to try this. I think the problem a lot of time with ordering the seltzers here is they have them on tap, and sometimes like they taste a little bit flat, or like they don't have enough of the flavor, which is, like they had like a seltzer before, and it, every time I ordered it, it tasted flat. This kind of like is the same problem. It's not bad. It, the dominant flavor is raspberry, and then it kind of tastes like that tea is like an aftertaste. It's nice, light, and refreshing. If it wasn't flat, it would be delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it like a three out of five. I do want to point out at Terran Traits, they have a new churro. It's a blueberry cheesecake churro. It's not the spiral ration, but I don't know what happened to those. What happened to the spiral rations? Yeah. Like, that makes me so sad because that's what made this unique and they've stopped making them. Yeah, now it's just another churro stand. Yeah, but I did notice a Pizza Planet truck for Pixar Fest is hidden over here. I'm just proud of myself that I found one. Yeah. And I want to say, the more and more I drink this, the more I kind of like it. It's not for everyone, but it's good. <laughs> Up, we're gonna head to the Hollywood backlot to the studio catering company. This is where they got the orange chicken burrito. This is crispy orange chicken with lo mein noodles and vegetables with egg fried rice rolled in a flour tortilla served with hot sauce and fried wonton chips. Ooh. How amazing does an orange chicken burrito sound? Well, we had it once at Panda Express, remember? They had like that, um, that test kitchen where they actually made orange chicken. It was burrito. so good. It was. They still have the short films running at the drive-in theater even during the daytime. I thought that only started at night, but you can actually see the screen. It's really bright. This and the taco salad were my two favorite things we've had thus far. Ooh. If you like Chinese food, if you like Panda Express, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm not uh, beyond admitting I love myself a Panda Express. It's a good burrito. I'm gonna give it a, okay, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. It's good. It's good. Especially if you like like orange chicken. And over at the Hollywood Lounge, they have a bunch of new drinks. I decided to get myself the Desert Pear Margarita. This is Desert Pear Syrup, Tequila, and a Lemon Lime Mix. It looks pretty, right? It does. Looks like another drink for Black Panther. Ooh, that's pure sugar. Sweet and sour. It is really good. I'm not sure I can taste the tequila, but it could just be one of those dangerous ones. I give it like a four out of five Peter. Very solid. Hey, are you okay over there? Who needs the sci-fi drive? I can smell you. Right? <laughs> I just tried a sip of this margarita. It tastes like I poured like a spoonful of sugar down my throat. <laughs> Doesn't it taste kind of like a pixie stick or like something just super sugary? Oh, it does taste like a pixie right? stick. Right? Or something? It's good though. It can kind of taste like tequila a little bit. I'm not mad at it. It'll give me a stomach ache, but I think it's pretty good. 
Better than that other drink I had. Next up, we made our way over here to Award Wieners because they have PB&J sweet potato fries. This is crispy sweet potato fries with a peanut butter cream, strawberry jelly drizzle, and potato chips. Okay, this thing looks amazing. I know, I like brought it over here and Peter was like, oh my God, that looks so good. And I gotta agree, it's very photogenic. I will say though, this is a pretty teeny tiny portion but I'm not mad at it because it's so cute. There are so many new foods today. We're not even like scratching the tip of the iceberg. I get some of that cream, get myself a nice little french fry. This is either gonna be really good or really bad. I'm like kind of scared. Okay, let's try it. This is everything I dreamed it was gonna be. It's actually even better because I love that they turned this, in, this into like kind of like a cream on top. I thought they were just gonna like drizzle peanut butter or something on it. So it, it adds like a nice flavor. You almost can't even taste the sweet potatoes. It kind of just reminds me of like when you're eating like sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving or something with the marshmallows on top. I'll give it a four and a half out of five. Not quite a five. I think like if it was bigger, it would get the five. Since we're over here, we decided to stop in off the page because I always love checking out all the art and they have some Pixar stuff here, including this Wall-E statue. So cute. Look at them. Oh my God, that is so good. I feel like we haven't looked at the Disney art in so long. They have a bunch of new stuff that I've never seen before. I'm kind of annoyed because they got rid of the Wonderground Gallery in downtown Disney. I used to love always going in there and seeing the new art. So I guess I'm gonna just have to browse here now. <laughs> That's awesome. Leia looks kind of creepy. <laughs> she? she does. Joey Chu always has like the cutest artwork and I love this piece from Enchanted. I didn't love the sequel, but I love that original movie. And then, I love just, yeah. Look at his style. It's Merlin and all the little creatures that he transforms into. Yeah, I love this Enchanted one because it's like all the cockroaches and like rats and stuff and like pigeons, it's all like, and flies, all the animals that get forgotten about in the Disney movies. Put some respect on the cockroaches' names, okay? Just wanted to point out how beautiful all the flowers look right now all around the resort, including these beautiful poppies that bloom every year on this little hill. Poppies are my favorite flower, and this always reminds me of my mom every time I see it, and it's almost Mother's Day, so it's like making me emotional. But Disney just does such a good job with the upkeep of all the like horticulture all around the park. And it looks especially nice right now. A little pro tip, fun fact. Did you know that poppies are actually the state flower of California and we are in California Adventure. So that's why there's poppies here. And now we'd like to thank Aura Frames for sponsoring this portion of today's video. If you're anything like us, you take a ton of photos on a trip like this you post some of them to social media, and unless you make one of them your phone wallpaper, you never see them again. The thing that I love most about Aura Frames is it helps you relive the memories that you take, like the millions and millions of photos that I take of our dogs every single day. <laughs> we love Aura Frames so much that we have one in the kitchen, we have one in our bathroom, we even gifted some for Christmas last year. I love looking over at our frame and seeing photos of our trip, of course of the dogs, and I love when my uncle randomly posts pictures of like his dogs too. <laughs> Speaking of family, Mother's Day is coming up, and if you're looking for an amazing gift for mom, this is it. It is so easy to set up. All you have to do is go into the app and select all the photos and videos that you want to display, and then they magically just appear there. You can even add your whole family to the frame, and they can add photos to it whenever they want from wherever they are. Like for example, we were halfway around the world over in Asia, and I was sending photos of our trip back to my family in the States. And this is what makes it such a great gift, is you could buy this for your parents and update it virtually with new photos of your kids, of you, of your dogs. Right now, Aura is offering our viewers $35 off full price, plus free shipping on their most popular frame, the Carver Mat frame. And all you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and use code ORDINARY when you check out. And act fast because the price expires on May 12th, 2024. Or Frames helps support this channel and make adventures like this possible, so supporting them helps support us. Thank you so much to Aura Frames, and now back to our adventure. Next up, we're going to San Francisco to Aunt Cass's Cafe. And when you step in there, all you do is smell the sourdough. It smells so good. Brings me back to when I used to live in San Francisco. It's so good. We're not here for the sourdough today. We're here for the yuzu bread pudding 
This is yuzu bread pudding with yuzu lemon curd and blueberry compote and a graham cracker crust with whipped topping. By the way, they used to have bread pudding over here when, before when this was called the Pacific Wharf Cafe. They got rid of it and they replaced it with uh, Japanese cheesecake or something. Not great. It's fine. It's fine, but it's no bread pudding. This is so good. If you don't know what yuzu is, it's kind of like a citrus fruit that grows in Japan and China. And this is a combination of lemon and blueberries, but it's very tart and sweet, a little bit sour. Not my favorite of the bread puddings, but it still gets a five out of five, Peter. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious what Ketra thinks about it because she loves one. This is only like $7, and I feel like it's huge. Instead of getting that cake over at Avengers Campus, come and get this. I haven't even tried it yet, and I'm like, get this. Okay. Oh my god. They just know how to do the bread pudding there. Like, they, they're, they have perfected the craft. You know what I'm saying? I love that they tried to replace and like people were like, no, And then people like the Peter kept complaining. You've complained about it so much and it actually worked. They read my thousand complaints. They something. did. He sends an email every day. Hello, where's the bread pudding? <laughs> I've never sent an email. I'm just kidding. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of a blueberry muffin crossed between like a lemon poppy seed muffin. So good, warm, ooey gooey. I guess I'm a fan of Yuzu now because this is friggin' delicious. Ordinary Adventure Star. They can do no wrong here. Has there ever been one that hasn't gotten the star? I feel like there hasn't. I don't think so. This is just Yuzu lemonade mixed with cold brew. And I was talking to one of the cast members in there and they said it was like a honey lemon kind of lemonade. So I'm excited to try this. Oh, not sure about this one. Oh, no, this is like, so sour and then the coffee isn't really that good either oh no i had a feeling this was either going to be really good or really bad and i hate to say that it's really bad if you want a good cold brew go to avengers campus and get the cold brew at pims it's like an oreo cold brew it's freaking delicious this this is an, an, a no-go for me i want i kind of want peter to try just because i know you'll give like your your nasty face will you try it real quick <laughs> I would not even be able to, like if you said, Peter, I'm gonna, I'll give you a hundred dollars to take another sip of that. I would not. I would. It's not good. It's not good. Wow, that's that might be the worst thing <laughs> that I've ever had at Disney. No way. It might be. Definitely for a drink, for sure. wandered into the little gift shop and I found another Pizza Planet truck way up high in the rafter. I love that he's been turned into like a little robot with arms. So cool. This big owl like statue? Has this always been here? I don't think so. Oh? Okay, I want my photo with him. This is new, right? Am I crazy? This used to be where the lockers were, and then they moved the lockers, remember? It's funny, they just took like the popcorn buckets and stuck them places. Found another Pizza Planet truck and this little car and the. What Does is that it? count? Because that's just the popcorn bucket. Hey, it still counts. I'm counting it. I'm not sure that counts. <laughs> We were just walking through the stores to get some air conditioning and I found this, I guess, light? Like maybe it's like a night light or something? It's a butt check it's stitch so butt light. so cute. It is so cute. I love this collection. It's like a Disney Eats collection and they have a dog collar and a leash and it comes with like a little mini turkey leg. It is hilarious. It is so cute. I oh, and doggy it. bag. Yeah, like a pooper poopy bag. So next up, we're heading to Disneyland to try a few more food items. And speaking of flowers, Mickey is looking nice and vibrant. Almost looks like he has a little bit of a unibrow. I feel like it was a missed opportunity though. They should have like put the Pixar ball there, put some kind of Pixar character there, right? Yeah, which Pixar character should be there? Obviously, Doug. 
from Up, our favorite. taste of that cold brew that I had out of my mouth so I thought why not go to refreshment corner over here at Disneyland because they have a sparkling pickle lemonade this is a Minute Maid zero sugar lemonade with Sprite pickle juice and garnished with a dill pickle this is honestly the thing that I've been looking forward to the most today because it could be good could be bad it smells very pickly and I'm kind of like way too excited to try this. I feel like they saw all the buzz that the pickle milkshake over in Walt Disney World got and they're like, how can we one up that? Well, what I love about this immediately is it has like a classic Disneyland pickle sticking out of it. I mean like a piece of it, but like this looks like the pickle that I know and that I love at Disneyland. I'm a pickle girl. Some might even call me a pickle, pickle aficionado. <laughs> and I know, I know a good, I'm gonna keep spilling it on myself. I'm gonna smell like pickles after this. I've spilled it on myself like five times. All right, let's try it. Whew, wow. So we tried the pickle milkshake over in Epcot, and I honestly, I was a little bit disappointed by that because it wasn't pickly enough. This is a pickle lemonade. You could taste the pickle, you could taste the pickle juice. I love that it's, I could eat the pickle, stir it around with the pickle. I wouldn't have thought that it would be better than the cold brew like this morning when we got here. I was like, there's no way, but it's actually pretty good. If you're a pickle lover, it's nice and refreshing, but it definitely tastes like pickles. So if you don't like pickles, don't get it. If you like pickles, try it at least once. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this whole thing. It's a bit much, but you know what? It's not terrible. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. If pickles aren't your thing, I wanted to mention that Refreshment Corner has the cinnamon roll pretzel back, and we gave that an Ordinary Adventure Galaxy. That's incredible. Next up, we're heading to the Stage Door Cafe in Frontierland. And this is where they got the hot honey tenders. They're chicken tenders tossed with chipotle honey sauce, served with cuties, mandarin, orange, or fries. We got the fries. And they also have this available with buffalo sauce. You know I'm a connoisseur of chicken tenders. So we had to try these. And and also, you're a connoisseur of hot honey. I am. <laughs> because I got one. Okay, we've made that joke before. <laughs> I will say they have doused this with that chipotle honey sauce. I thought it was just gonna be like drizzled on top, but no, there's a, it's covered. You would think that there's no way to make chicken tenders at Disneyland better. Well, you know what? There's the hot honey theory. And the hot honey theory is that you can drizzle hot honey on top of anything makes it better. The best pizza in the world, even better with hot honey. You can put <laughs> hot honey on a, a pickle okay. soda and I'm sure it'd make it better. <laughs> five out of five, Peter. Dang. That said, it's still chicken tenders, so I... Well, the Disneyland chicken tenders are good, I think. Yes, I'm just saying it's not like an elevated, yeah. amazing, like... It is chicken tenders, it's exactly what it sounds like it is, and if that sounds good to you, definitely get this. What's good about these is they're sweet with a little bit of heat, just like Peter. I'll give them a five out of five. They're the chicken tenders that you know and love, just elevated. <laughs> sweet with a little bit of heat. drinks aren't your thing head on over to the harbor galley and that's where you can get the watermelon cucumber cooler and there's no description or anything it's just watermelon cucumber and it's cool because but, they put ice cubes in it. did you know that a cucumber is what a pickle is and before it gets turned into a pickle so basically this is a pickle this is like the prequel to the, the drink that i just had i gotta admit i don't love cucumber in drinks but so you do like watermelon i do love watermelon <laughs> You would say I'm a watermelon connoisseur. That is so refreshing. It's like Jolly Rancher watermelon. Oh. Like it seems like they like put some pumps of syrup there. And the cucumber only hits you like at the very end. It's like this crisp kind of like ending to it. I'm gonna give this another five out of five. I don't like it quite as much as you. So I'm probably gonna give it like, it's not bad. I'd probably give it like a four. You could finish it. 
Yeah. I'm sorry, cucumber, watermelon, cooler. Actually, you were gonna get the ordinary adventure star, but then Kitra ruined it. I for actually you. liked the pickle one better. I'm not even joking. That one was more refreshing to me. But this is good. Not bad. All yours. And I just noticed that there's a deck up there on the roof of Harbor Galley. entire left side they better not do anything to that beaver I love him but what we got is the street style elote burger this is a one-third pound Angus chunk patty with roasted sweet corn habano peppers queso fresco chili lime sauce and avocado smash served with I guess we got onion rings but you can also get like cuties or fries or yeah, the onion rings are good here so I was like why not even though I'm so full <laughs> we might as well looks like that elote and the avocado smash is all stuck to the top of the the bun I will say the picture that they had over looked there good. looked a lot better than what it looks like but we've also missed you know a lot of the corn has fallen RIP corn it's interesting because it's a burger but then on top of it it has kind of like a fresh lime corn taste to it, which you're not used to having on a burger. I don't think I've ever had lime on a burger before. <laughs> so those flavors together are kind of strange, but I think I like it. I'd give it like a three and a half or maybe a four out of five Peters. It's good. I'm actually curious to see what you think. I like this a lot. This is good. Another thing that has like a little bit of spice in the sauce, not like, Super spicy, but it like hits you when you're least expecting it. Like a 4.75. Like I think this is pretty dang good. I would definitely get this again. People don't talk about the onion rings here We're as good. much as they should. We're good. They're so good. <laughs> they should just like put stuff on top of the onion rings and make seasonal like onion rings. I was just thinking that how good would this like elote mix be on top of these onion rings? I mean, so we can good. make it ourselves. Is this a new Ordinary Adventure snack? Mm -hmm. I also saw that they had a new cold brew on the menu and you know that I had to try it. This is the pistachio cold brew. It's a cold brew with pistachio sweetened condensed milk foam and a pistachio dust. And what really sold me on it is they had a picture of it out front and I was like, okay, I need to get it. This almost looks like something that they would serve for Star Wars night or something. Like, it's so pretty. Yeah, this is one of the few drinks that looks better than the picture. Yeah. The combination of the condensed milk mixed with the pistachio flavor is so good. It's not too overly sweet, but it's just sweet enough. Super creamy. This gets a five out of five for me. Not my favorite cold brew. I like to compare to all the cold brews, I'm sorry. I still think that one over at Avengers Campus is better, the Oreo one, but this is like a close second. If you like pistachio and you like coffee, try it. Also the Black Calf cold brew. No, that's the that's the queen. Nothing will ever dethrone that, or I will be shocked. That's why I try them all, because I want to find something that is better than that, and so far nothing is better than that. Bar where they have Mickey shaped peach beignets. They always have some sort of seasonal beignet and this time it's peach. We also got the peach cream dipping sauce. Peaches and cream, I feel like you can't go wrong with that. I am so happy that we got these. This tastes like my favorite candy, a peach gummy ring, but it's not as sour. I feel like the last ones that we had there was like a grape one and that was, those were like really kind of like grape like overly candied grape, but yeah. this is just like perfect. And mixed with this sauce, is there any better combination than peaches and cream? 
especially during the summertime. Oh my god, this gets a, instantly gets a five out of five. And to wash that all down, you know that I had to get the mango and peach mint julep. This is flavored with a mango, topped with peach puree and diced mangoes on top. And when I ordered this, the lady ringing me up was like, Ooh, good choice. So I have a feeling it's gonna be good. This is so good. It tastes like the mint julep that you know and you love, but with just like a hint of peach and a hint of mango. Nice and refreshing, perfect for a hot summer day. I feel like this combo might be like, we've tried a lot of good food today, but it might be like some of my favorite stuff that we've tried. This is just like hitting the spot after a, a full day of eating all these foods. It's just like hitting the spot. Five out of five, this whole meal gets an ordinary adventure star. I think the peach beignet, itself is very good but i wouldn't have given it a five out of five without this cream yeah you need the cream the creamy yes. peach we'll see we'll see ordinary adventure star this might be the drink of summer 2024 here at disneyland <laughs> guys there's so much new food here at disneyland over 140 new items and that doesn't include pixar fest season of the force and the upcoming, oh no, there's that. <laughs> May the 4th, which we'll be back for, don't worry. Yeah, we have we have so many bags of food leftovers. Yeah, I had to get a bag for my bag. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but anyways, if you want to see those videos, if you want to prepare for your summer trip to Disneyland, we'll put the videos right over there. We want to say thank you to some of our Patreons, that includes... Jennifer, Lisa, and Mason, thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure.